Hello everybody, my name is Jakurza and welcome to another art journal video. I'm continuing to work in my Canson Mixed Media XL sketchbook and I'm super excited because I've only got a couple of pages left in this book before it is complete. Woohoo! As usual, I've picked out a white and a black acrylic paint. Today, I've also picked out two shades of gray acrylic paint to use because I'm too lazy to mix my own shade of gray today as well as this bright red acrylic paint. Using a spray water bottle, I'm wetting down my page and spreading it around with a wide flat brush. I wanna get a nice good coverage of this black acrylic paint as the first layer for my background today. Once I've done that, I'll let it dry. All right, now that everything's dry, let's work on the rest of the background. Using this dark gray acrylic paint and the paint brayer, I wanna add some texture to this background. I don't wanna spend a lot of time working on the background. I just want something simple, but I want a grungy type of look and I want something that is quick and easy. Now let's do a layer of the white acrylic paint using the brayer as well. And then I'll let it dry before we move on to the next step. All right, now that everything's dry, let's use this white Stabilo All Pencil. This white Stabilo All Pencil is a water activated pencil. I want to do some sort of an abstract face today. I don't have a plan. So I'm just going to draw some random shapes and see what happens. Let's do an eye from the side view on the left side, Picasso style. And then I thought I'd do some sort of like weird swoopy lips type of thing coming from the nose. But it seemed like a better idea in my head than what actually showed up on the paper. So using a baby wipe, I tried to wipe the white Stabilo All Pencil off the paper, but it was just smearing everywhere. So I tried wetting it with a brush and it was still just smearing everywhere and showing up really badly because of the dark background. But that's okay, we can easily fix this. Using the paint brayer and the dark gray acrylic paint and the white acrylic paint, let's fix up that mistake. There we go, it's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Okay, let's get to painting. I'm going to fill in the areas that I think at this point are going to be the whites of the eyes using an angle brush. This page is going to undergo some transformations as we go along here because I don't have a plan. So let's see what ends up happening. And let's do some sort of normal lips. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> fill in this nose type of area and as I was doing it I thought you know it almost looks like a stem hmm maybe instead of doing an eye maybe I'll turn this into a tomato let's fill that all in with white so that I've got good white base for doing a tomato. Now let's add the top part of the tomato here and add some stripes to the stem, which is the nose. I know this sounds really weird, but let's just go with it and see what happens. So since I don't have green to use, let's grab the black acrylic paint. Well, you know, let's change my mind here. Maybe instead of just doing a tomato, because then I wouldn't have an eyeball, I'll do some stripes on the eyelid and make the top part of it tomato and the bottom part can be the eye. So have like a tomato type of eyelid. But then when I drew the stripes on it, I thought, what would it look like if I were to do black stripes on the eyelid? I know I'm gonna do black and white stripes on 
the nose or the stem part. But let's just go ahead and try it. And I ended up with some paint on my finger there and it's smeared across the page. It's going to be the white part of the eye. Oh, we'll fix that later. No worries. It's acrylic paint. We can always fix it. No problem. So I continue to fill in these the stripes and I was actually really liking it. I still wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. It wasn't looking like a tomato anymore. But that's okay. Go with the flow. Do what I feel like as I feel like doing it. And if I don't like it, it's acrylic paint. I can always paint over top of it and change my mind. Not like I've ever done that before. <laughs> so as I was doing these black stripes down the nose or the stem, I got to the bottom and went, oh, well, I don't really want the bottom to be white. So let's just add a little bit of black to the bottom. There we go. I'm really liking those stripes. It's almost like Picasso meets Tim Burton on this page at this point. We've got the side view of an eye and a front view of an eye. It's strange. It's got stripes. I'm absolutely loving where this is going so far. Decided to add the black pupil on the left hand side. Still not sure what I'm going to do with the right yet. And let's stall a little bit more. Add some black to the bottom of the left eye. Hmm. Don't know what I want to do next. Well, let's start by fixing that black smear that's on the white part of the eye. Just dabbed it on with my finger and let that dry. So since I was really liking the stripes, I decided to define the edge of that, what was possibly going to be an eyeball in the black. So I added a black line to the top and the bottom of the white section. Wasn't really liking the shape of the eye on the left side, the pupil. So I adjusted that as well. I think a part of me is just stalling because I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the rest of this page. Okay, let's work on that right eye. I was going to do just a black dot in the center, but then it seemed too stark. So I went ahead and did a spiral because why not? This is abstract. This is weird. Let's just go all out. So I have a lot of black and white on the page and decided that I needed to add some of this red in here. Let's see how I'm going to incorporate it. Perfect place to do that is on the lips. So I go ahead and fill in the bottom lip with just the paint right out of the bottle. But I want that upper lip to be darker. So I added a little bit of black to it, mixed it on my paint palette and made the upper lip a little bit darker. It was okay. Wasn't really liking it. It's going to need a little bit more work, but we'll come back to that once it's dry. Let's do the top part of what was going to be a tomato. Let's go ahead and do that in the red as well. Incorporate more red into the page. And let's add some red to the left eye. Now I decided that I wanted more than just the red, I wanted to add a different variation. So I mixed myself up a pink. And I did some nice rosy cheeks onto this abstract painting. Ended up taking a couple of coats to get the coverage that I wanted. But as I was looking at it, I was like, well, I need more pink somewhere else. Maybe I'll just do the corner of the eye. And then it looked weird. So let's do the whole right side of the eye. But I still really liked that spiral. It's 
Since I still got pink on my paint palette, let's try adding some reflections on these lips. But it was too much and the wrong shade. Ugh, I'll come back to that later. Let's fix up that spiral on that right eye using the black acrylic paint pen. Now I'm trying to mix up a darker shade of pink here, but it's just, it's way too dark. So I decided to go ahead and try it, but as I'm painting the lips, it's just, it's way too dark. It's not the shade that I want. It's not, it's not working for me on this page. So I'll go ahead and let that dry. But once it's dry, I use the bright red acrylic paint straight out of the bottle and do a coat of that over top of that dark red on the upper lip. And that is looking much better. And since I still have some of the pink, let's add a little bit of reflection on that bottom lip. Now the eye on the right, I'm still not really liking it. So I decided to do the corner in white and add some reflection spots to both of the eyes. And then I thought that the top lid on the left side needed a little bit of something. So I added some white dots using a white acrylic paint pen as well. Let's add some white dots to the outsides of these cheek circles. But it, they looked a little bit out of place. So I outlined each one of the dots on the cheeks and connected them with black using the black acrylic paint pen. Now that's starting to look better. Those white dots on the left eye looked a little bit out of place. So I tried adding some black dots to see if that would help it. And let's add a little bit more definition in between those lips and also cover up some of the white acrylic paint that is on the outside of those lips. using the paint that's still on my paint palette. Let's fix up some of the lines on that right eye. I thought that the cheeks still were missing something. So I tried adding a light coat of the red acrylic paint to the inside of those cheeks. and really, really liked how that turned out. But they had brush strokes, so I tried dabbing it on with my finger. End up having to do two coats of that to get the coverage that I want. So that reflection on the right eye, I really, it was looking really weird to me. So I decided to get rid of that. And since I still had pink on the palette, Let's try adding a little bit more detail to the color part of the eye on the left. What happens if I add a pink stripe behind the red? Nope, I'm not liking that. Let's change that to black instead. Much better. Yep, definitely liking that. I'm trying to mix up another shade of pink here. I thought that the dots along the top of the left eye just looked weird and out of place. I needed to add more pink to this page. So I covered up the white dots with pink instead. Yep, that's tying in a lot better. And let's get rid of those white reflection spots on the right eye completely. They just looked weird in my opinion and decided to add some red dots to the center of the pink ones on the left eye. Loving it. Okay, this page is really starting to come together, but now I need to do some shadows. So using the black charcoal pencil, this is a 6B charcoal pencil. I decide to add some shading areas. And my plan is to use a dry baby wipe and smear the charcoal onto the paint. But it wasn't giving me the deep effect that I wanted. So I tried adding a little bit of water to this dry baby wipe and smearing it with that. 
but it reactivated that white Stabilo All pencil that was on the paper. I thought I'd painted over top of it. So I ended up smearing all over the black stripes. I'm like, oh no, this isn't deep enough. I've just ruined the stripes. So I grabbed this black watercolor crayon and fixed up the black stripes using a baby wipe and just kind of smearing that black crayon. There we go. That fixes it up. Now let's work on deepening those shadows to be how I want them to be. So again, using this black watercolor crayon, I guess it would be considered to be a gel crayon too. I'm using a dry baby wipe here to smear this crayon into the page to get the shadows that I want. Absolutely loving this. It's giving me the depth and just really bringing this page all together. And that worked really well, but now I wanted to add a little bit more shadow. So using the black charcoal pencil, because I didn't want it to be as deep and as intense as what the black watercolor crayon gives, I'm just smearing the black charcoal on certain parts of the page. Doing it in between the lips there too to give them a little bit more definition and shadow. I want the corner of this eye to be a little bit darker. And that for me was the finishing touch. Absolutely love this page. I think this might be my favorite page in my art journal period. This was amazingly fun to create. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.